So if you see my last video, I was saying that you need to fast aerial. Now, a lot of people have been asking me how to train fast aerials. So I wanted to bring you this really quick video just showing you how I train them. So I'll show you something that is really important that not a lot of people pay attention to when going for an aerial. Now, if I just tap the jump button, if you look at my car in relation to this pad here, just watch how far my car goes past that, that pad. So if I tap jump, and now look if I hold jump. So if I hold jump, you can see the pad, look, it goes under my car. When you fast aerial, you want to be holding jump, then jumping again. You're not tapping jump like that. The thing to keep in mind with a fast aerial is that yes, you can like set metronomes and you can try and jump the fastest way possible. But one thing that's going to make you slower than other players is hesitation. So not hesitating to go for a fast aerial is going to benefit you a lot more than trying to do a fast aerial perfect. So what I like about this drill is that it teaches you to cut out that hesitation and it gets you used to just jumping. So don't worry too much about the jump for now. Like you just want to get this part down first because if you overcomplicate it, you know, you'll start messing up. So you just want to get used to jumping and boosting like that. So you can just tap jump, that's fine for now. Another thing I like about this drill is that you're also working on recoveries as well as your fast aerial. So what you want to do is you just want to be in free play and you just want to go around the field doing this. Fast aerial up to the ceiling and then recover off the ceiling. So you want to learn how to jump off the ceiling so you get two jumps. So I don't know if you can hear it there. So I jump and then jump again. And that gets me down to the ground faster. Once you've got the stationary fast aerial down and you can jump to the ceiling and then recover, then you want to just start driving around and putting your camera in all weird angles. So you want to like be switching ball cam off and on and then you just want to be driving around making sure that your left stick is continuously moving. But that's why I'm going to leave this one. As always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you found the video helpful, all I ask is you hit the like and subscribe button. But thanks for watching and until next time.